Hello there and welcome back. Finally, this is Sarah, your socially awkward seller, and I am back with you to give you a haul video. As we all know, maybe not all of you, some of you might be new. Um, whenever there is a national holiday, the local, th it's not local, it's a little farther than local, thrift store um, has a 50% off sale and I attended that yesterday on Labor Day. Um, and I spent about $140 on the things that I'm going to show you today. It's a lot of redundancy, you know, appliances, 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 parts, parts, parts. But I thought I'd show you anyway because there is a lot of, okay, Cat Sandy's here. There is a lot of uh, other things, and other things are fun. <clears throat> um, so my glasses today um, are very reminiscent of Carl Fredrickson from the movie Up. If you have not seen the movie Up, grab a box of Kleenex and watch it. I love Pixar films. It is actually one of my favorite Pixar films. And uh, yeah, but it is a sad one. So anyhow, um, let me just jump right into this and stop talking. Because you know how I do. Uh, so I picked this up. Uh, some of these things I've already taken the prices off of. So I really don't know how much I paid for them. But I can give you a guess. I think this was about $4. And I've not seen this before. I've not sold this before because... I would have had to have seen it before if I had sold it before. Anyway, it is a Black & Decker Sweethearts Waffle Maker. And the waffles look like hearts. Look at that. Or alternatively, shamrocks. Just depends on how you look at it. Um, and I paid about four bucks for this. And um, this these sell actually pretty well. Um, somewhere between like 40 and $70, um, just depending on condition. And I haven't said it for a while, but you can only get as much for something that you ask for it. That doesn't make any sense. In other words, if you ask $20, you're only going to get $20. That's my motto. What's your motto? Nothing. What's the motto with you? Um, this, I love these. I don't know why I keep buying them because they're not worth anything, but you know, the heart wants what the heart wants. And I love buying these. Uh, I bought two of them, three, three of them, two of them, I think. Um, normally I don't find this size, uh, but this is one of those bird clocks. This one is a 1997 MFA. Um, but they're also made by the Audubon Society. I think there's Science Digest makes one. They're all the same. Uh, sometimes the birds are different. But um, this one is your, your standard North American songbirds. Um, I paid $1.50 for this. This one's probably worth about $10. $10 maybe I might be able to squeeze out $12. Bucks. Um, I don't know why, but the battery door is missing off of both of the ones that I sold, uh, that I bought, which, uh, as long as it works, I don't d get too concerned about a clock, um, a toy that's got a battery missing door, a missing battery door, or I'll just do my verb or my, uh, adjectives however I want. Um, you know, a toy I don't want to sell with a missing battery door because kids, you know, kids, um, I picked up this and I paid two bucks for it. And this are parts for a lift away steam pocket mop. Um, these do not do as well as the shark steamers. And Cat Sandy was trapped by the tub. Anyway, um, anyway, these don't sell as well. These, these parts don't, um, however, I do know that, like, there's a piece in here that consistently sells for $20, and then there's all the other stuff. So, um, I may, I may opt to part this out and just wait. I may opt to just sell the rest of the accessories together for a pretty cheap price. Uh, <clears throat> who knows how I feel? I just, uh, do whatever I want when I get to the point of listing something. Um... So I bought two packs of these 
and these are vintage. I paid a dollar for like a bundle like this. Um, they are vintage tie racks. Um, two of them are in their original box. One of them is not, but it does have its original screws with it. So essentially it's new, but I'm not going to sell it as new. Uh, again, I paid a dollar, so 33 cents each for these. Um, and I, I thought they were so nice. I did it twice. Um, and I probably will list these somewhere in the 12 to $15 neighborhood each. Maybe a little less for the ones with no box and a little more the, for the ones with the box. And I will just wait. And those are something that can go on eBay, Mercari, and Etsy. Because you know I make about 39 cents a month on Etsy. Uh, sorry. I know that there's money to be made on Etsy. I'm just not making it. And it has to do with effort. I don't put any effort into Etsy. Um, so don't sell anything there. Um, this is a thunder thunder patch thunder shirt. It's a thunder shirt. Thunder 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 shirt. Um, anyway, and this is I think either a medium or a large one. Uh, it's an extra large one, so it's for a bigger dog. Um, it's pretty clean. I may run it through the wash anyway, uh, but. You know, this is to wrap your little dog in to give it a hug when there were thunderstorms like there were last night. Wow. Um, I was in my, my storage unit because that is exactly where you want to go when you hear the tornado sirens going off. But they go off so often. It's hard to heed the get your ass in the basement warning when it's summertime and they go off so often. But so um, I had a pretty decent weekend. Don't you love Velcro? Oh, we're not gonna call this Velcro. We're gonna call this hook and loop tape because eBay might be watching. Anyway, um, I had a pretty good like holiday weekend. I shipped on Saturday. So between the time I shipped on Saturday and Sunday night, I had um, like, 20 something um, listings to ship. So I went over to my storage unit and I I did a process of those. And then I ended up shipping 32 this morning. So that that's a, a lot for me. So I'm glad I started yesterday. But anyway, I rode out the storm in the storage unit. There's no light in my storage unit. And um, it was like seven when this was happening last night. And so it was practically dark um, because of all the clouds and stuff. And uh, I had this one little, I don't even see it now, this one little light. We have them around our house just for the, in, a, in case like the lights go out, we have light in every room. But they're like the LED lights with the switch and they Velcro, they hook and loop to the wall. Um, and I took one of those because I thought maybe it would be dark in there. And yeah, it was, but we survived. I listened to some Jimmy Buffett. I listened to the storm and uh, I processed my items. I will shut up now and keep showing you what I bought. Um, got this Mr. Coffee, I paid $1.50 for this. It's one of those grinders grinders um, for coffee beans or spices or whatever you want to use it for. Um, I think this one sells for about $15. Uh, I picked up this, um, it's a needlepoint and it had a cruel um, attached to it. I paid 50 cents for both of them and I this is complete. It's been opened, but like it hasn't, I don't even think it's been taken out of the package. Uh, I think I can get about 10 bucks for that. This cruel, I love saying that word. That's a fun word. Cruel uh, is actually complete. Um, it is this Venti um, Black Eyed Susan pattern. 
which is really kind of cool. And it is to make a pillow, a smallish pillow. It wouldn't be a, a large pillow, but yeah. So somebody has done this and I will still try to sell it because uh, I'll sell my mom's dentures if I can't make a buck. Not while she's wearing them. Just relax, folks. Just relax. Okay. How about if I just throw that over there and move on? Uh, I like buying stuff like this because, like, I really didn't know what this was. I mean, I didn't think it was like a spaceship or a uh, artificial heart or, you know, something like that. But uh, I wasn't sure what it went to. I paid a dollar for it. It's marked Cuisinart. If you're going to buy something like this, it's easier if it's marked just to give you a starting point. Um, but this is the collection picture for a, a juice extractor and this sells for about 15 bucks. Oh, there's my little light. Um, this one is not the one with batteries in it, but that's what I was talking about. Anyhow, nobody cares. All right, I have not decided what these are yet. Please do not tell me that they are chess pieces because I don't believe that they are. Um, but if you know, feel free to tell me. Uh, I paid $2.50 for them. And uh, it's got four of each of these. This is a golfer. Um, and they feel like they're maybe pewter or maybe some kind of alloy or something. And then the other one is a golf ball. Uh, the reason I don't think these are chess pieces is because, generally speaking, the pawns would be all the same. Um, and then the opposing pawns would be the same thing, except a different color. And um, so I've got four of each. That doesn't make sense. So if these were a different piece, I'd still only have four of them um, because I have four exactly the same. So I don't know. I thought maybe they were at first place card holders, but there's no holder for the place card on these. There's no slit to put them in. So I really have no idea. Um, oops, they are felted on the bottom. I guess they could be, they could be checkers. You could play checkers, like if you had the full set of these, that would make sense. Not a lot in my world does. Um, so I don't know what they are, but I just thought they were cool. They're heavy, they're kind of well-made. Um, the detail on the golfer is pretty good. So I'll do some research. If I can't find anything, they can go in a bulk, in like a junk drawer lot or something. Uh, I bought a lot of track. First of all, maybe I'll open this. This is uh, Thomas Take and Play track. Um, and it's usually the really thin track and it's not very wide and um, most of the time it's gray. Not always, but most of the time it's gray. Um, I paid whatever for this. I paid $4 for this lot and it's a pretty good lot. Um, there are quite a few train pieces in it, which is what I was interested in buying. Um, and there are some other pieces as well, some like buildings and stuff. Uh, I will probably part that out, but look at this. How adorable. Um, I believe um, with pretty much 100% certainty, this is the Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz. Um, he's got the, the little declaration that he's got a brain, I think. Like he got a certificate or something. It's been so long since I've seen the movie. But anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, but it's, it's, it's really cute. Uh, irrelevant, but cute. I picked these up. These are made in Hong Kong. They're plastic. 
and um, adorable. That's the other word they are. They are adorable. Um, they are made by the Ski Company, S-K-I. I think if you put a brew in these, it would be a brew ski. No, it wouldn't. Uh, I paid a quarter a piece for these, and I did wind up with four of them. Um, and those are something else that can go on Etsy and uh, eBay and Mercari if I choose to put it all there. Um, I picked up these. These were in a bag lot. Um, but these are made by Radica. Um, we've got Tetris and Blackjack. And I paid a couple of bucks for those. I've got an electronics lot going. So if they don't work, they'll go in that electronics lot. Um, this is a Jensen um, remote control programmable like antenna for your TV. You know, rabbit ears. Um, and I, I've not been able to find this particular model, but the remote sells for about 20 bucks. I ended up paying 650 for that. And I should do fine. Um, I found two of these ultimate choppers. Uh, this one I paid $3 for, um, and I will park this one out. The dome is worth like 12 bucks. Uh, the cup in there is worth about $8 used. There is a blade that's worth about 15 bucks and then the base will sell for about 20 to $30. Um, these are, are, I sell the bowls, the little mixing bowl more than anything. Like those sell more often than anything for me. Um, and they're really easy to ship, so. And that freaking ba blade is sharp. Woo! Fiber! Okay. Uh. Okay, I'll move on. And so, I found another one. And uh, it had been dropped and the bowl was broken. And of course, when I got to the counter, I dropped it again and broke the bowl more. Uh, but this one was like two bucks. And uh, again, I've got the bowl and the base, I mean the uh, blade and the base to sell. So I'll do okay on that too. Um, I picked up this Toyota stereo, car stereo. This is a factory um, stereo. And this is for like a 2008 to 12 or probably not that late. I think, I think it was maybe a 2007 to 10. I don't remember. Um, Corolla. And this sells for 25 to $35. And I paid $4 for it. I will not be able to test that. And uh, basically what I do is um, you know, just say that it's untested in the listing and they can return it if it doesn't work. Uh, I'm real willing to take that, that risk upon myself. Um, here is another one of those sharp steam mop, lift away steam mop, um, like accessories. And I paid $2 for this one. I picked up quite a few of these. Um, this one happens to be teddy bears that teddy bears with a basket of apples. Um, perpetual calendars. You guys know I've been selling these for a long time. Um, they don't sell as often for me as they used to, and they sell for a little less than they used to, but they still sell, and uh, I don't mind picking them up. They fit in those. Um, those the like those long uh, priority mail boxes, and uh, sometimes you have to Franken box it, but um, or you could put it in the big flat rate one. Um, but I paid two bucks for that, and this one looks like it's complete. I do not buy them if they don't have like their their numbers with them, their numbers and their their um, months. You know what I'm trying to say. 
picked this up. I paid 25 cents for this. Um, this is, oh my gosh, look, Big Bird. Isn't that cute? Um, it's a ceramic bowl. And it looks like it didn't sell for much originally. But I think it's adorable. I'm going to list this for, I don't know, 20 bucks and see what happens. Um, here is another car stereo. This is a GM. I haven't figured out, like, what this goes to or how much it's worth. Might be $10, might be $100. I paid $3.50 for that. Okay. Um, here is another. Struggling. Here is another one of those uh, perpetual calendars. Um, this one has, you know, instead of the phases of the moon, the phases of an eaten apple. Um, but it does have its, um, all of its pieces. I just had removed them from this. And I think I paid like three bucks for this one. These are in pretty good shape. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, there's the, nobody cares. I picked these up because I think they're adorable. Um, they don't sell for much. I said that a lot yesterday. I don't want to buy this, but it doesn't sell for much. Um, which is a habit that I try to break, but I'm resistant. Um, these are home interiors. And they're fall-like because they've got the little pumpkins, bears. They're in good condition. Um, again, they don't sell for that much, but I'm going to list these two together and see if I can charge a little more than normal because of the season and um, the quality of them, I guess. Just make it up as I go along. I bought a lot of eight of these. These are by a company called Shafford. Um, these are made in Japan. And they are a little ceramic bud vase with a place card holder. Um, I bought eight of those. I paid $2 for them. Because I like to buy stuff like that. And I like caramel and crunchy stuff. Mm. Let's see. Here's a shock. I bought a cookie press. Um... Can't stop buying them. I think I have every cookie press that's on a shelf in the, you know, in the Tri-County area. Um, I bought this box of uh, jewelry boxes. I paid three bucks for it. And I promptly dropped this at the cash register and broke two of the five boxes that are in it. Uh, of course, the three that did not break are not worth anything. So, you know, whatever. I ain't a party until something gets broke. Um, here's a little cell phone I picked up for a dollar that will go in my electronics lot. Uh, I don't know. I may put together a, a sewing lot. They don't sell for. They don't sell for that much. There's a, a statement you never hear. Um, this is from the company Dritz, and it's a bobbin box. Um, that was a dollar. Um, these are little chalkware plaques. I don't know the technical term for them. I'm sure I will figure it out. They might just be called chalkware plaques. Um, they're the ones that have like the felted lip, uh, ribbon, velvet ribbon on the back. Um, there's that little tiny baby. Cute little baby. He's uh, brushing a duck. You just don't see that often. Um, here is Mickey Mouse. Baby Mickey. Baby Donald. Um, this has kind of got some whimsical animals on it. And I don't know if somebody, if this was like a kit that you bought and did yourself. Like, I have no clue. And then there's a little cute little dog. And I got those four. These probably don't sell for that much. I got those four for $1.50. You know, I sell a lot of things that sell for good money so that I can sell things that make me happy. Um, I bought a brass door knocker for 35 cents. That probably won't sell for that much. Um, 
And this bag, I think, is just a, um, a bag that has cookie press parts in it. We're not going to go through those. <clears throat> I paid a dollar for this. No, 50 cents for this. And um, look at these little doll clothes. Look how cute they are. Um, these are for a larger doll. These are not... Um, oh, look at that. That's the whole outfit. Cute. Uh, quite a few doll clothes in here. But these are for um, like a larger baby doll, not a Barbie. Not a fashion doll size. Um, there's a whole bunch of them in here. There's a pair of shoes in here. Um, I picked up this I talked about these in my last like sales video and um, this is a Hamilton Beach and this is like the FP whatever whatever FP 09 there's a new one I haven't seen that um, but it's got quite a few parts with it and <clears throat> I paid eight dollars for this one which is a little that's like on my top end for something like this uh but it does have extra blades with it um and it's a common like that style of hamilton beach you know like this style is common a lot of people have these so i know that the parts will sell for it and I should be able to get about $50 for the parts for that. Um, maybe another $15 if, if I sell the base. I paid $250 for this one. And it has a um, chopping blade, the slice shred blade, <coughs> and the bowl and the lid. Uh, the pusher is missing on both of these. But again, um, I should be able to get Right around $50 for the parts to that. I don't have much more to show you. But I do have more. Just not, uh, not mo much more. Um, I bought this. Oh, whoa. Extreme close up. I bought this bag of stuff. Um, and... It looks like it is mostly a juicer. I paid $5.50 for this. Um, I don't rightly see what the maker is. But I usually do okay with juicer parts. And what I mean by that is they don't just run off the shelf most of the time, but um, they sell for a pretty decent amount when they do sell. And, you know, I'm, I, I like to sell things fast and I have taken lower offers than I normally would have in the past. And I'm sending lower offers than I would have in the past to like flip my inventory, but I'm okay with it kind of sitting there for a while marinating if it's just parts that somebody will need in the future. Um, I paid a dollar for this one. This is another one of those clocks with the battery door missing. Well, and this one is the Animal Kingdom. Um, so it has hippo, polar bear, lion, rhinoceros. What sound does it make? Tiger, gorilla, leopard, wolf, reindeer, elephant, and zebra. Uh, chimpanzee. So it'll be fun plugging this in to um, <clears throat> see what the sounds are plugging it in. It's a battery-powered one. <clears throat> well, my batteries have a cord. Um... Fortunately, these have a little button on the back that you can test the sound. You know, you continuously push it. It gives you a different sound every time. So that you don't have to wait or change the time to hear every sound. I've been up for 12 hours listening to this clock because I want to hear every sound. Um, that's an empty bag. Yeah, we're getting close to the end. I bought this bag of heavy stuff. I paid like a couple of bucks for it, three bucks. It took me a minute to figure out what the, the pieces are. They're cast iron, but they are, um, they're old style weight holder honors. 
Um, in other words, you would slide this on the barbell after you've put the weights on it and tighten it down and it would hold the weights on the barbell. Um, and I have about eight of these, six or eight of these. I don't know if there's a market for them, but this is how you learn um, new things because I need new things. Uh, but it'll be fun to uh, research those and see if they're worth anything. I spent $12. I've already started going through this. But let me just give you an idea of what I've got here. This isn't all of it. But I spent $12 and I've got quite a bit of flatware. And in that flatware was this cute little whisk. Um, it is made by Trapco. Um, and it's a pretty yellow. Um, so this was would be a casualty that I would toss normally. Um, but this actually sells for about 10 bucks. So that's free money, if you know what I mean. Um, I bought this little ceramic music box. Um, it is animatronic. So as the music plays, um, they seesaw very slowly. And... Um, it's also Gibson cards, so, um, you know, they're like American Greetings, only they don't exist anymore, I don't think. Um, and it's also Otsugiri, which is, um, some of you will know, it is a Japanese ceramics company that makes, you know, sugar bowls and mugs and figurines and all stuff like that. So I thought the combination of those three things might make it worth a little more. Uh, I didn't pay very much for it. I might have, I might have, I might have paid six dollars for it. But I really think it's cute. It's in really good condition. I haven't broken it yet, and I'm probably gonna list that around twenty because uh, I wanted to buy it, so I did. Um, here is a pair. I won't sell them together, but these are the long arm. Um, I want to say wreath hangers. They're not stocking hangers and they're brass reindeers. And this particular set, you could buy like a couple of reindeers and then put them on the shelf, one in front of the other, and then Santa could be behind. And it's actually cute that way. I paid like five bucks for these, I think maybe not that much. And, um, I'm going to list these for about 35 to 50 a piece that is after I get them cleaned up because they are not they're not as clean as I would like um let's see is there anything else in there no one more thing just one uh and this is this clock that I paid $7.50 for um it's a wood frame and it's got this mosaic tile um, that looks kind of Southwest. This clock is very reminiscent of Southwest design with the geometric shape and those colors, but it's not a, it's not subject matter that is Southwest with the dragonflies and the koi fish. Um, there's a koi fish right there. And then it is signed by the artist. I don't know if that's pronounced Taig, uh, but the artist's name is Roz Taig, if that's how you pronounce it. And, um, I don't know that I, I think she has a little following. Um, but anyway, I think somebody will want this clock regardless of whether they know who she is or not. So I'm going to list this probably around, I don't know, 40 bucks. It just depends. Just depends on what the research tells me. I don't even know if the clock works anymore. Like, but are you really going to use that to tell time? All right, so there you go. That was my $140, and um, I got quite a bit. It'll take me a little while to list this, probably a few days. And then, uh, yeah, and then we'll do it again. So that's all I got. What you got? Anyway, um, I am going to, I don't know what's going on with my nose. My allergies are killing me right now. I'm so sorry. I'm so embarrassed. Um, in two weeks, 
less than two weeks. I am going to fly to see my friend. Please don't call me irresponsible because I'm traveling during COVID. You know, I'm a grown up. I can make a decision. The people I'm visiting can make a decision. Get over it. Anyway, um, I'll use every precaution I can between here and there. But I'm going to travel to meet one of my friends for the first time. Um, that is a, a follower, um, like on my YouTube channel. That's how I met her. And I'm excited about that. And then from there, I'm going to fly further and meet another friend that um, I have been like friends with for several years now. And um, also met through uh, YouTube and reselling and all of that. Um, so I'm really excited about that, and uh, hopefully I can take you guys along and show you some of the adventures. So, yeah. Just remember in the meantime that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming, keep working. I'll see you guys the next time.